If there was one single fitness number that could predict how long you live, would you train it? Most people think longevity is all about genetics, nutrition or just plain luck. There's some truth to that, but there's a single score that tells you how powerful your body really is. Here's the scary part. With every year you get older, this number naturally goes down. Clock is ticking unless you fight back with training. A massive study found that increasing that score will cut your risk of dying in the next 10 years in half. And the best part? You don't have to be an elite athlete. Anyone can do it. That magical number is called VO2 max. So in this video, I'm going to show you a method on how you can boost that number in just eight weeks. I also cover what that magical word means and why it's tied so strongly to longevity. Okay, so what the heck is VO2 max? In simple words, it's how good your body is at using oxygen to make energy. Think of it like this. You breathe in oxygen, your lungs grab it, your blood carries it, your heart pumps it and your muscles burn it for fuel so you can move. The higher the value is, the smoother that whole chain works. It's basically the size of your engine. VO2 max and strength are the two fitness markers you can't fake. That's why scientists call it the gold standard of endurance fitness. Now you're probably wondering, how do I measure my score? There are three simple ways. Number one, the lab test. You run or bike with a mask that measures how much oxygen your body actually uses. It's super accurate, but yeah, not exactly a home workout kind of setup and you need to pay for that. Number two, field tests. If you don't want to spend money, the Cooper test is for you. Just run as far as you can in 12 minutes. Then type your distance into a quick online calculator. Takes five seconds. Number three, the tech test. Most modern watches already estimate your score. That's the easy and lazy version. It's not exact, but it's perfect to track your progress over time. So now you know the definition and how to measure it. But what does the number actually tell you? Here are some ballpark values. An average woman in her 30s is at 32. In her 50s, she's at 27. An average man in his 30s is at 37. In his 50s, he's at 32. Quick side note, men don't have a higher VO2 max because they train harder. They just have bigger hardware. As you can see, the number drops as you age. That's why a few stairs can make you feel like you just survived an Everest climb. Minus a flag photo. And the older you get, the faster it falls. Unless you train, then you can slow the decline way down. And the training method looks like this. Think of it like a pyramid. At the bottom is zone two training. Steady, moderate effort. You can still talk, but you're definitely working. This is where your heart and lungs get stronger. And the top is VO2 max training. Brutal intervals where you're gasping for air, legs on fire, wondering why you didn't just take up chess instead. And here's the rule. About 80% of your training should be the base and only 20% should be max effort intervals. This usually means one brutal session a week. And trust me, that's plenty. Now, let's put the pyramid into practice. The good news, you can train with almost any endurance sport. Running, cycling, swimming, even the evil air bike. Basically, if it makes your heart rate skyrocket, it counts. And yes, burpees would also work. But let's be real, you don't hate yourself that much. One of the best tools is the Norwegian 4x4. Four minutes hard, three minutes easy recovery. Repeat four times. That's 16 minutes of pure suffering. Brutal, but insanely effective. If that sounds like too much, start smaller. One minute hard at about 90% of your max heart rate. One minute light active rest. Eight to 12 rounds. Build your way up to those Norwegians. They were born on mountains. We weren't. So VO2 max is like an honest mirror. It doesn't just show you where you are, it shows you where you're heading. Picture yourself at 80. Can you still hike a mountain? Can you still pick up your grandkid? So ask yourself, do you want that? Or do you want to be out of breath just climbing the stairs? Every workout you do now is a small invest for the life you want later. Start today. One easy run or bike session. One hard interval day a week. Stick with it for eight weeks and you feel the difference in everything you do. I promise. See you in the next one. Hybrid Dude, out.